Hi, this is Shira for InternetMarketingGuru.com, and today I'm going to show you how to upload your own transcription of a video into YouTube so that the closed captioning feature um, shows your subtitles in the video. Now, why would you want this? The main reason you want this is for accessibility for people who are hearing impaired, but you really want this for SEO because if you are uploading the transcription in text of what your video is about, this type of media can be crawled by Google and other search engines and indexed so that if you use your keywords in your transcription, you can gain SEO value from this. Now, Google has an automated voice recognition service that's new and is integrated with YouTube, and you can actually request YouTube to transcribe your video. And we're going to do that in a minute and see the results. And after that, I'm going to show you how to get this done yourself. Let's take a look. I'm logged into my YouTube account and I'm looking at one of my videos that I uploaded uh, a while after I met Chris Lang, who's a social media expert and a YouTube expert as well, in uh, Connecticut in the U.S. at Howie Schwartz's house. And I asked him to give an internet marketing tip. So this is done with a really new, brand new camera that I got, the ZI8, but I actually didn't even set it up for um, correctly with the focus. I had it set up for outdoor pictures when it was indoor. It was actually the day that I got the camera. So you can see the even a very bad video in terms of quality can have a really big effect. So if I click on here on the CC, which is closed captioning, I have these options transcribe audio, translate captions, and other settings, and caption selection. Now, if I click on transcribe audio, I get this note that this is an experimental service, and I'm going to say OK. And now I have automatic translation. So let's see what this looks like, if it did it very well or not. Everybody was supposed to give a new tip and a new prediction for the year. Well, despite all my predictions in the last two years, I'm Okay, as you can see, Google's closed captioning or automatic voice translation doesn't really work very well. None of this is actually what Chris Lang is saying. So what I would propose for now is to create your own transcriptions. You can easily outsource this. And to upload them yourself into Google. So I'm going to upload a transcription of what Chris Lang is saying and so that when you require closed captions you'll get the actual text here and also the correct text with my keywords will be inside the video transcription and that gets crawled and indexed by search engines primarily by Google who owns YouTube. So let's take a look at how this is done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually download the transcription file that Google created. And even though everything in it was incorrect, the format of the file is correct and it will save me a lot of time in creating my own file. So I went to edit my video, I went to captions and subtitles, and I have here the English machine transcription that I requested, and I can download it. Okay, so I would just download this to my computer. Let's open the file and see what it looks like. So you can see the format of the file. And this basically is a segment length and what the caption is, and then another segment length, and then what this caption is. So I can just replace this with my own text and the correct text, of course, and then I would upload it. Now you can see that this file is captions.svv. And when I upload a file, it's going to be an SUB file. So these are small things to be aware of. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, but the text that I have for the actual video is not going to fit these time frames. And usually they do because these are according to spoken pauses. But I actually found a cool online service that's free that um, I paste in my transcription and it helps me create these audio codes. So let's take a look at that. A site called Accessify.com and I went to Tools and Wizards and I selected Easy YouTube Caption Creator. And I'm going to paste in the URL of the YouTube video and get the transcription. 
Oh, and I just pasted in this trans transcript here. It's only a minute video, so there's not very much in there. And we're going to split it into the different lines with the timestamp, which is what's important here. So you can see that the tool here has taken each line from my transcription and put it in a separate line here. Okay, this is everything I uploaded. And now we're going to be telling the uh, tool where to start the video from. So I'm going to press the A key to add a caption every time um, something starts. So let's play this video. And there I have it. I have my encoding. I'm all done. And now I can just take everything here and save it as a subfile. You see that it has all the timestamps right in there. Uh, so that's really cool. Okay, just save this file with the extension of sub. So how are we going to save this? I'm going to copy all of this and open a notepad. I'm going to paste it in here. Okay, and I'm going to save this as a sub file. So we're going to get the video name here. And I'm going to save this file right here on my computer. But I'm going to save it as all types of documents. So all files, over here, all files. And here I'm going to click in that sub, that sub. Now I don't want to have any uh, spaces here. So I'm just going to put in hyphens. All right, and I can save my file. Next, we're going to go and upload our file to youtube.com and see what happens. Let's go over to YouTube. And right now I'm going to go into edit captions and subtitles. And I'm going to add in new captions or transcripts. And the caption file that includes time codes. Let's browse that. I selected my transcription file that I created with the Easy YouTube Caption Creator, and it's in English, and I'm going to upload this file. Okay, let's see the settings for this. It's in English, and the name, I'll give it a name. Okay, now let's take a look at the video on the page. So this is really cool. You can see how we added the captions. It really didn't take very long and it didn't cost any money. Of course, if you have a longer video, you can get it professionally transcribed. There are lots of services and they normally cost by the minute around three dollars or five dollars per minute depending on who you get and what format you're going to get your file in. So as long as you're using a text file with no formatting and you're saving it to a dot sub, you have your time codes in there, you should be good to go. This is Shira for internetmarketingduru.com. Take action and have a great day.